everyone and welcome to another Unfiltered Gamer Review. I'm Callie and today I am showing a very special game from the creators of one of my favorite games, Sparkle Kitty. We have Sparkle Kitty Nights, the darker extended version of the game, which is a social card game for four to eight players. It is dark and humorous, a lot of fun from Breaking Game and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to play. So let's see what you get in the box. So here's what you get in Sparkle Kitty Night. You have your spell book or door in this case, which starts with keyhole and some symbols on there. Your huge stack of cards, which all have some pretty crazy words on them. Party, goo, meat, cuddle. And you also have the character cards which are really cool. They have different knights that are either naughty or nice, as well as a dragon character for when you have an odd number of players. Here's how you play. In the beginning, everyone will get a secret knight card and don't show it to anyone because it'll say whether you are naughty or nice, or if you have an odd number of players, the dragon. So on, and uh, you'll place it face down in front of you and you'll add three cards to your tower and the objective of the game, of course, to get rid of these cards on your tower. And how do you do that? Well, you'll have a hand of cards, uh, you know, five, five cards, and you'll play them onto the door in the middle of the field, and matching the color and or, and or the symbol, just like the original Sparkle Kitty. This time, however, in Sparkle Kitty Nights, you not only have to free your own knight from their tower, but the other knights that are on your team. Only when all of the knights on your team, not your knights, are free can you win. So once you've freed yourself from the tower, the game isn't over. <clears throat> if you are on the naughty or nice team, you're going to now try to help save your fellow uh, teammates by similar to before, once you dump your hand of cards, you can take a, ta a card from anyone's tower trying to save your teammates. And if you are the dragon, after you've freed yourself, you're trying to eat one of the knights. Doesn't matter what kind, you just want to be the, the last person, the person to take their last card from their tower, eat them, and win. But this time it's going to be random because you're going to be on a team, either the nice team or the naughty team. Don't show anyone your character. Um, you're going to place whatever you get uh, upside down to create your tower and you'll have uh, four cards there to create your tower or three cards this time instead of four and that's just like the original sparkle kitty you are trying to get rid of all of the cards in your tower except this time instead of winning you're simply going to flip over and show what team you're on and all of your team has to be showing before you can win so what's cool about this is once you go out you're not only going to be trying to, once you've gotten rid of all of your cards, you can also help other people who you think are on your team get rid of their cards. So you'll start with some cards in your hand. Let's say we've got five cards here. And you can see these cards, they are a little bit different than the Sparkle Kitty cards, a little bit naughtier, um, not quite bad, but a little bit uh, crazier. And just like in Sparkle Kitty, on your turn, so this would be your hand, which would be not seen by everybody, you would play, um, <laughs> that's about, <laughs> you would play uh, and match the symbols on the spell book, where well, this one is the door, and so you would say this, the spell, cream hole, and uh, you continue doing that, next person might do uh, sweet cream and stuff like that. So it gets pretty funny as you're playing these weird combinations of words and trying to get rid of the cards in your hand. <clears throat> there's also, also there's other special cards and rules. So when someone gets a double, they could just say, um, you know, if it's sweet, I'd say, oh, double sweet and play that automatically. There's some other special cards. We have two, instead of Sparkle and Kitty, we have two night cards. They are different though, you have to be careful. There's the knight with the N and the knight with the K. And what's awesome about these cards, let's say you had here this, wait, none of these are the right color. And 
that was not either. They had say that was a one and you played the knight on the blue, you could take a card from your tower. Or if your hand your the cards from your tower are all gone, you could take the card from someone else's tower who you think is on your team. Just like in Sparkle Kitty as well, there are black magic cards. These cards you place next to your tower character, and now you have to add uh, this word, Sweaty Flutter Knight, to your spell, as well as you can add a card to someone else's tower from your hand. This can prolong the game, and someone who you think is either either the dragon, if there's an odd number of players, or someone who is not on your team, you can add cards to them. There are, of course, also rainbow cards. Rainbow cards are my favorite. Um, you can play them anytime. You can play them on your turn, but on anything. They're wild. And then they do special things to other people, like Shaft. All other players must draw a card and add it to their tower. That really changes the game. And here's a couple other ones. Also, there's a lot, a lot of things, a little bit more than what you get with just Sparkle Kitty, but I'll sh tell you what I think about that. If you've seen my other video, you know I love Sparkle Kitty. And I was so excited to get Sparkle Kitty Nights as well because uh, it's just it's just like a fun game that you can play in between other games or while people are coming in. And so Sparkle Kitty Nights adds a little more adult to the party game and uh, a little bit uh, another kind of humor because of the, the darker and more adult themes. Uh, while, you know, this one you wouldn't want to play with, you know, younger kids, it's not going to be uh, super weird if they just catch a card or two. Most of the cards are not overtly adult. Uh, what Another thing I really like about this game is how it adds that uh, a lot more to the game, more the strategy and the social aspect of the game, because you're trying to figure out, okay, who is on my team? Are you the dragon? Or, you know, if I save you, are you just going to eat me? Sort of thing. <laughs> and uh, trying to figure out who's naughty and who's nice. Um, you know, either one could be good, depending on <laughs> how you're thinking. Um, another thing, the artwork is awesome. Uh, always the characters are really cute and, you know, whimsical and fun. And the, the cards, there's some new, uh, there's some new rainbow cards as well as a new card like Mirror Mirror which you have to say the, the your spell forwards and backwards and then you get to look at another character card. That helps you gain some information which helps you uh, you know figure out who's who and adds that that social deduction uh, element to the game as well. It's like oh well he knows something about her but I don't know anything or I know something about you but you know something about someone else and you try to figure out who's, whose team you're on. Every time we've played this we've had a a fun time and just a lot of laughing and and trying to figure out stuff a lot of conversation which is always great in these types of party and social games I think that's what that's what you really want when you're getting a, a short and sweet party game like this thank you guys for listening to my review of Sparkle Kitty Nights this has been another unfiltered gamer review brought to you by Callie Feel free to check us out at unfilteredgamer.com and please like and subscribe. And if you want to see Sparkle Kitty Nights, you can see the link below. Also, check out our friends, uh, Everything Board Games, uh, and the Giveaway Geek, as well as Ferdinand the Cardboard Stacker. Thank you guys, and I look forward to seeing you next time.